another little thing just to show you this morning is we had uh, somebody sent in a question uh, to Carrie. They wanted to know about oil separators and if if they're good or if not. Well, I can tell you if you've got a, a modular or a coyote motor, uh, there you go. You've got coyote motor, you absolutely have to have an oil separator. So what is an oil separator? It separates oil. <laughs> It separates oil from air and where it goes, and this has got, you know, hoses plug on here. And basically it goes between the breather on the passenger side and the engine. Uh, it's like, if you're only going to put one on, put it on the passenger side. That's the side that seems to uh, puke the most oil out of the breather. And it will keep you know, oil out of the engine and oil out of the intake. And you know, what it does is it's kind of like, it's got this little container down here. It unscrews. If you mount it, it mount it like this, and you unscrew it. After you first put it on, you want to check and see how much oil is in there about every day, and then you can, after a couple of days, you can figure out how often you have to empty it. But what it does is, as, as the oil comes through, it gets trapped in the bottom. This is a filter that goes. This is where the oil would come in, and this is where it would go into the intake, and it it traps the oil. And it keeps it from not going into the motor. Uh, yeah, if you've got a coyote, especially that's when we first started using them the most was on coyotes. Uh, and in the passenger side, would inevitably put oil into the intake. So uh, this is we we've, we've got them. I don't think they're on our website. We we'll probably should get them on our website. But uh, this is this is something that you really really need. And any modular motor. This is actually going to go on a. Uh, Four valve, uh, a 99 four valve, four six four valve. 